All right, so let's get started here. We're going to be taking a look at reviewing some data logs in our AM data here, and then we're going to be going through the process of making our changes in our calibration file, and we're going to see what this looks like. Now, I'm going to be illustrating this with an Evo 8 example, um, and I actually went in and I dyno tuned this particular file, and the data logs are going to be showing you are going to be the subsequent changes after I've made the changes, what are going to be looking like in the data log. So we can see that process um, to do some very basic tuning with. In this case, we're just going to be focusing in on doing our fuel tuning and not our spark timing tuning. So I started off this calibration file. We uh, jump into our table here into our spark timing ignition. I started off with the very conservative values. This had a roughly 18 to 20 PSI of wastegate spring in the wastegate. I made sure that my values here were extremely low. So between 18 and 22 pounds, I was only running between 6 degrees and 8 degrees ignition timing in the table needed to make sure that I had something very conservative to start with that I could go in, do my fuel table tuning here, and then go back in after I've dialed my, my fuel in, jump back into my spark timing table, start bumping the timing up, trying to get the uh, torque and horsepower increase. So what we're going to be looking at, just so you can get the idea of how you're going to be moving from the AEM data software into your calibration file, making those changes, just so you get the effect of it and how that process should look like and how it's going to go. So if we jump in here, again, this is our base starting file that we're going to be starting with. I uh, had this file here, and, and when I did a full throttle pull, this is what we uh, plotted or we, we obtained from the data log. Now, this was a laptop log. It was not done with the onboard logging features. It was only laptop logged. Now, what we're going to see here in the general tab, in the white here, we see engine speed. So we're going to see that this trace right here is our white. We're going to be seeing the yellow here is engine load. You can see it's going to be going up here. That's our boost. We're also going to see blue here. Blue is going to be, as you can see, it's flashing right here. That's going to be my throttle. The green is O2 number one. That's going to be our wideband reading. And then ignition timing here is going to be in pink. So this is going to be all the most basic data that we have to have available to us to do any kind of fuel and spark timing tuning in our fuel tables, in our spark timing tables. So if we start off down here at the bottom, we can see that the white line here remains kind of flat. And that's because this is where the start of my data log begins, and this is the start of my dyno pool. And what we're going to see is it uh, uh, goes up here, and it increases as we go with the time until we get to a point right here. It's roughly 4,800. And uh, if we look at the blue line here, I actually lift at my throttle because it was uh, starting to misfire. Now. If we move into our green here, this is our fuel, our wideband air fuel, we're going to be seeing at this point, we can see that the, uh, the green line here kind of goes and it tapers out, and that's going to be, this is going to represent the, uh, looking here, the air fuel. We can see it's, it's flashing there, and it's showing me here 10.3 air fuel when I start to get into boost at the higher RPM, which is way too rich. And looking here, as we're kind of scrolling across, 3,000, roughly two pounds of boost. We're at 13 air fuel. That's okay. But we need to go ahead and lean this out. Now, I experienced misfiring, and that's actually why you can see on the blue line here again, I lifted my foot off the throttle because it was too rich and it was starting to need a rich misfire. So that's something I didn't want to keep operating the engine in, and I decided to lift my throttle and back out of the dyno run and abort it. So, what I would do in